everybody, I'm Poovy and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. I know I'm a bit late to this as I think it was the first game pack for the Sims 4 if I remember right, but I finally bought the Outdoor Retreat game pack and I'm so happy that I did. When this first came out I honestly thought it looked pretty me <laughs> and a waste of money, but the other day I really wanted some new build and buy objects to play around with, so I plucked up the courage and I just bought it. And do you know what? It gives me so much nostalgia of the 2007 Sims 2 Bon Voyage expansion pack. And if you don't know already, The Sims 2 is my all time favourite, so anything that reminds me of it gets a big thumbs up from me. The cheats I used in this build are bb.moveobjectson, which if you don't know already lets you move objects around freely, letting them collide which I find super handy when making the really pretty bunches of bushes and flowers you can see all around my campsite. The other cheat is bb.showhiddenobjects. Then all you need to do is type debug into the search bar in either buy or build mode and this will allow you to unlock, well, all of the hidden objects, <laughs> such as the working fishing pond I've put in the center of my build. I think I might make a video at some point of all the useful Sims 4 cheats, so let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. So at the moment I'm still placing down loads of flowers, I think they look so gorgeous like that. And I think the um, the sort of purple and yellow colour scheme I went for looks really nice together. I didn't like, in like, on purpose do it like that, it just sort of just ended up planning out that way. <laughs> I think that's how most of my builds go to be honest. I do love landscaping though, I think it's definitely my favourite part. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, at the moment I'm just adding little clutter bits down, I love that little sign over there. I thought that was pretty cool. That's also, uh, you get that in the um, hid show hidden objects cheat, that's how you get that big sign over there. Yeah, I'm just adding little bits and bobs down to make it feel like it's homely and lived in. I do love clutter objects, I wish uh, there was loads more. <laughs> That's all I do, I just chuck them down everywhere. But it does make them look more homely. Got the guitar for when you want to sit around the campfire. More chairs and coolers. Ah, here we go, this is where I'm using the debug part. So, I don't know if you saw just then, but um, I put debug into the search bar in items, and it will come up with all of this different stuff that's, well, hidden objects. <laughs> and um, in there, you'll find that pond, which is actually a working fishing pond, so fish jump around in it, and you can fish in there. It's all completely working, but that's where you can find it. Oh, we got the horseshoe throwing game, if I remember right. Is it horseshoe throwing? I remember in the um, the other expansion packs they had uh, the axe throwing, if I remember right. Oh, I love those little stools. They're so cute. I've seen a lot of people use them in um, building tree houses, if I remember right. People build a lot of tree houses using those stools as like bases for them. So I think I might have to try that out at some point. I think that'd be a good good idea. Just building the toilet. I decided to build a toilet just in its own little block for privacy. Because I didn't know if they would actually go to the toilet out in the open. Because Sims can be a bit weird like that. They end up trying to shoo them. <laughs> and I don't think they can uh, shoo people away in the middle of nowhere. I tried to make the toilet part look very much like a little wood cabin. So I used all woods on the outside, just all browns, very warm, cozy feeling. I love the uh, 
the wallpaper and the flooring that comes with this um, stuff pack. I think it's so pretty. I, I never think there'll ever be enough uh, <laughs> wooden flooring in the wallpaper for me. I want more. Add in a little mirror. I'm really happy at how the bathroom turned out. I think it looks super cozy for this tiny little room. But it still gives the the little log cabin feel. Gotta have some windows for any stinks. Doing a bit more landscaping. Putting those flowers in. I do have, I think landscaping is my favourite part of building, it really is. I think I will have to do sort of like maybe like a little tutorial if any, if any of you like that, like the sound of it, on landscaping. I don't know if I'm like that good to make a tutorial on it but I love it so much, it's so fun. And there's so many different flowers and things like that that you can choose from. But I definitely think the, uh, the purple and yellow theme works very well. Got my little barbecue area so they can cook up some meats. And of course, every campsite needs a fire pit. Bit more landscaping, I see. Can never have enough flowers. I feel like, I don't know if the, like, I feel sometimes I go way overboard with it. <laughs> Like, I end up putting too much in. But I think this build is just the perfect right, perfect right amount? Just the perfect amount of flowers and bushes and all those beautiful things. I did see what that would look like with the sort of pops of red, but I didn't really want to break up the sort of unexpected uh, purple and yellow theme, but I think I will have to use that at some point, like make a uh, sort of like autumn forest, that would look really cool. Oh yep, yeah, adding in the rocks, can't forget the rocks. I always seem to forget about rocks, but I, uh, once they're in, I feel like they make a massive difference and they do, they do really do make a difference. Couple of plants and rocks around the pond, make it feel more full. Now here comes the fun part. <laughs> I do love doing this. It took me a while to sort of figure out how I would do it because I wanted like a really dark base but then it ended up looking really harsh so I had to like take bits away from the edges but then try and rebuild it up again like try not to make it look faded like too faded. I like the faded look but not like overly faded but I think I did a good job at that. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks very pretty. Not at the minute, it's not properly done yet. Just using some green to break up all the browns and make it look more realistic, I think. I think that's what I was going for. Oh, also, I do love the new terrain um, swatches, I guess you could call. I, I love the new terrain stuff that came with uh, this pack. I think it's really nice to have some new ones. Not that this, this pack is new. <laughs> I was very late to getting this one. But I am so happy I got it. Mm -hmm. 
this build will be available to download on the Sims 4 Gallery under the name Cozy Campsite. I would also like to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched and if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye bye!